the one mile long, 165 feet deep Queechee Gorge is a narrow gorge on the Ottaquichi River. The gorge is the deepest gorge in Vermont. For most visitors, its breathtaking views are generally from the U.S. Route 4 Bridge. For those wishing for a unique point of view, the bridge and gorge can be experienced below the bridge from the Ottaquichi River, where the river takes the left turn as it empties into North Hotland Lake. The paddling put in to obtain this view is four miles downstream at the North Hotland Beach, located at the North Hotland Lake Flood Control Dam in Hotland, Vermont. The North Hotland Dam. The North Hotland Dam is a wonder to see. The earthen dam was constructed between 1958 and 1961 by the United States Army Corps of Engineers with a height of 162 feet and a length of 1,640 feet at its crest. It impounds the, the Ottaquichi River for flood control and stormwater management for the Connecticut River area. The reservoir the dam creates, North Hotland Lake, has a normal water surface of 250 acres. It has been estimated that North Hotland Dam has prevented over $180 million in damages along the Connecticut River since its construction in 1961. Warning here. We learned of this destination from our friends, Outdoor Recreation for Seniors, of which we are members. They told us we could swim and have lunch on the rocks by the gorge. However, they warned us the area was quartzite rock and we should wear water shoes with treads because the quartzite is a hard, non-foliated, metamorphic rock with many sections axe-shaped and can be very sharp and slippery. In the video, you will see how cautiously we walk around this area. Jim, Dundee, and I arrived at the North Highland being put in in September and the automobile access road was blocked off. We thus put our kayaks on carts and walked downhill to the beach about a quarter mile. This downhill trek meant upon return, of course, that we had to pull our carts uphill for a quarter mile. Just a note for those that this quest to paddle include some huffing and puffing upon return. As we pulled our cars to the foot in, we were met by Heather, a park ranger. She very graciously welcomed us, gave us suggestions of things we might see, and instructed us on the rules of the park. We saw eagles, great blue herons, ducks, turtles, extensive signs of beaver chews and lodges. We are at the North Hotland Beach. And at this time of year, the entrance is closed. So we've parked here and we're going to, we put uh, our kayaks on kayak carts and we're going to pull them about a half mile down to the beach. You go first. Oh, we're all walking down together like Huckleberry's made it, Tom Sawyer. out enjoying a paddle at North Heartland Lake. This is the beach area. And sitting out there on the logs, which prevent you from paddling into the uh, dam as we get up closer, you'll see a, the Heartland Dam here. This is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Heartland, Vermont. And there's a great blue heron sitting on a log there. Well, just at the beginning here, a lot of turtles lined up out there on those logs that prevent people from going into the dam area there. So at this stage of the game, we're just putting in. We've seen great blue heron, we've seen ducks, and now we've seen turtles. And we're hoping to see some eagles. Guys are taking off. Hey, what a gorgeous day. We are blessed to be here. Hotland, Vermont. It is gorgeous.
Great idea, Jim, coming here. I think you'll enjoy it. There we are, look at this, paddling along, it's gorgeous. We're in Quinchy Lake, and he comes into the, or Otter River comes into Quinchy Lake. And it's just fabulously beautiful today. A little windy, but not too bad. We're moving to the shore to make it a little bit easier. I think it's our an eagle. So, gotta get a picture if I see it again. Oh, it's a beaver there. There's a bald eagle up there. Beautiful bald eagle. There he is up in the tree up there. There you go. to do our part by any trash we see we try to pick it up. There's a juvenile bald eagle there. I'm trying to figure out which way to go here. Jim's been here before. Done me and my first trip. There's something way over there. I don't know what it is. We'll find out shortly. I assume it's in our destination. Sure, what direction to go? We went to the left here. There's also a great blue heron there, which I think it's getting ready to catch a fish. Jim just got caught on the sand by there, we, we didn't see until he was on it. This is an interesting phenomena there. The tops of all those trees are all broken as if a microburst or something went through them. Oh, I'm hearing some sounds here. They could be rapids or the falls in Queechee Gorge up ahead. I suspect it's the gorge. We'll find out soon. I can see why they call it a gorge. In the water here, look at this, huh? We are coming into the gorge. It's going to be exciting making this turn and see what happens. Like we're coming out of Queechee Gorge here. This is well worth the trip coming up here. Took us about ooh, an hour and 29 minutes or so to reach here. And it was, yeah, and it was all against the, uh, the wind also. And the over there. These falls are fascinating. And Gorgeous here. Of course, you can go swimming in the summertime. Maybe out those states you go swimming now. We'll see. A good place over here. There's Route 4. There's where you look down the gorge and see Tweechee. Tweechee Gorge. We are in the gorge. Fascinating. Yeah, it is gorge. You can tell it's a gorge all the way. When you're paddling in, we could look down into the water and see all the granite and just there. Watch your way. They say wear, wear heavy shoes or something because the rocks are sharp and indeed they are sharp. So this is the Weechee Gorge. I tell you, it's tough walking over these rocks. You have to be very careful. There's granite and slate or whatever it is here. But it is tough. See a little closer look at the falls coming down over here. And it also goes further out there and then comes back in here. And this indeed is a gorge, a true gorge. Okay. I am 
at the bottom of those falls. And they're getting pushed towards the rocks over there behind me with the Karens there. There's Karens and there's rocks. And uh, now I'm just getting ready to uh, turn and head out before I am in the rocks. That was great, Sharon. Well worth fighting the wind on the way up here. And Jim's getting ready to leave. And he's preparing to put in here. He's getting ready to come and over the falls and everything that we've been looking at. Well worth it. Here. I'm just moving along uh, from the current from the waterfalls there. And this just drops. This indeed is a gorge. It's all up here. Oh, it just drops right off here. Seems to me. Up this gorge here. We have seen quite a few signs of beaver, beaver chews and into the woods to get more branches and everything. As you can see the uh Oh, the beavers come down, I think. Not the other animals, but it's a tunnel, so probably the beavers go up there to get some of those trees for their lodges and food. Then he's going one way around the marsh, and Jim is going the other way. And that is a huge eagle's nest up there. Wow. That is big at the top of the tree. Jim and Dundee are there looking and taking pictures of the eagle's nest. It is huge. It is huge up there. Way up there. And it's about uh, 2 10 right now. We've got another 10 minutes maybe before we take out, but we zip right down here. There's a dike that holds back the water uh, that slowly feeds it to the Connecticut River. If there's an overflow of water or whatever. Heading down the home stretch. Way up there, almost in front of the tower, you can see the beach uh, markets for the swim, and that's where we are going. Wonderful paddle. That was great, guys. Thank you very much. That was a super day, super paddle. Most importantly was that at 3.30 p.m., the exit gate closes for vehicles. Just be aware. Our upstream paddle to Queechee Gorge. The weather was sunny and a comfortable 70 degrees. There was a slight breeze facing us during our two and a half hour meandering paddle upstream to the gorge. A perfect day for chatting, seeing wildlife and experiences a beautiful green mountain forest of Vermont. 